Well, hello. Welcome to Benevolent Plum Tarot. My name is Jess. In this video, I'm just going to be pulling the winner for my April giveaway. Um, that person will win a tarot reading with me uh, on a topic of their choice. I will also be announcing May's giveaway. I will have a few changes there. We'll talk about that really quickly. And um, I might just pull a few affirmator cards too at the end just to get um, a couple messages out for the week. Um, before I pull the winner, I would just like to quickly say, um, give an apology for April. I didn't put any content out this month. Um, I've just been having uh, a lot of, of <laughs> a lot going on. It's been a hectic month, but um, I'm going to be doing uh, more videos. I'm going to be putting out weekly videos plus extra pick of cards. Um, so there's going to be a lot more content, um, a lot more regularly coming in. So if you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing. Um, I would really love that. Uh, yeah. And if you've been waiting, again, my apologies. I will be putting a ton more stuff out very, very soon. So bear with me a little bit. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and get the winner for April. All right. So everyone who put their name in, I put a little tag with your name in it. Um, if you commented more than once, then you have more than one. Okay. We have Carrie. All right. So Carrie, congratulations. Um, I will be getting in touch with you to make sure you get your reading all set up. So awesome, Carrie, congratulations to you. If you did not win this time around, comment on this video. Um, you know, there's still very good chances to win a reading with me right now. And if you comment more than once, I will put your name in my little jar more than once, um, up to three times. So what's gonna be different about the giveaways moving forward? So I'm going to be adding in a second place prize. <laughs> so first place will be uh, tarot reading with me as always. Um, but for second place, I'm gonna start adding in um, a more of a tangible prize each month. Um, I'll try to make them different each month, but I may have repeats. But um, so I want to do this so I can kind of start um, uplifting other small businesses or people who have other crafts and things going on, maybe other tarot readers as well. Um, so for May, we're going to start with this handcrafted shea butter and cocoa butter organic soap. Um, this is a cold pressed soap and these two bars um, have a gemstone in them each. So we have one with serpentine and we have one with adventuring. So I will talk more about um, those crystals and the energy that goes with those um, when I draw the winner next month. But, um, so I'm gonna pick one winner for the tarot reading and then one winner for one of these beautiful bars of soap, which I will send out to you promptly. So these are beautiful, by the way. Um, I have gotten this soap myself. This is a flower soap shop. So he has an Etsy. Um, this is an LGBT store. So you'd be supporting um, an LGBT small business and they're just beautiful. It's vegan, organic, and smells amazing. So this one is Honeydew Melon. And again, we have Adventuring and Serpentine. So um, next month when I draw the winner, uh, the second place winner will be able to choose one of those bars of soap. And first place again gets the tarot reading. Um, yeah, so let's put that aside. And I just wanna go ahead and grab an Affirmator card um, just for the week, just to get some energy to see what's going on with us for this week. Um, actually, let's go ahead and do three groups. So. Why don't you pick a number, if you're still with me here, between one, two, and three. So pick a number, one, two, and three. And if you wanna pick more than one or feel drawn to more than one, um, that's totally cool. I'm gonna pick one as well for myself for the week. I'm gonna pick two. And you pick whatever is drawing you. And let's see what we got. All right, so one, two, and three. What to the viewers? watching this right now need to know for the week what sweet message can we give for groups one two and three all right one two 
and three. And these are kind of just cute, silly messages, um, but I actually do love the energy that comes with them. So starting with group one, if you chose group one, we have peacefulness here for you this week. Um, I have, oh, this is um, an affirmation for you to, uh, you know, give yourself this energy as a gift for the week. I have a peaceful, tranquil, and untroubled heart. This is where I choose to spend my time. I can bring guests, but any person, thought, or event that brings drama or chaos is not invited. My heart is a special property, and I'm going to keep it that way so we can all keep enjoying it, and I can get my security deposit back. <laughs> okay. So very silly uh, message, but yeah, beautiful message here of maintaining um, the peace within you, yourself, your heart, your spirit, your mind. Um, and if there are boundaries needed, then this is a card to say those boundaries are okay. You know, if you need to instill boundaries, that's fine. Um, whatever you need to do to uphold that beautiful, peaceful, and tranquility energy um, in your heart this week. All right, let's go on to group two. Follow your heart. Wow. Got a lot of heart energy. I am always rewarded when I follow my heart. I trust the GPS in my heart knows all the best routes. And when it seems like it's taking too long to get where I want, I know that's because there's some cool weird stuff to see along the way. Beautiful. I love that car because that really is an energy of enjoying the journey. Um, you know, we, you know, set an intention or have a goal, um, have something that we want to happen now. There is a journey always to get from that point to the next. There's lessons along that way. Um, so it's really just about enjoying uh, the route to that goal or to, you know, the fruition of that intention. Group three, wonder. It's a wonderful thing to be in a state of wonder. And when I'm in, when I'm a good audience to my life, my life becomes better and better theater. When something delightful happens, I can shout encore and be tickled when it happens again. When something maddening happens, I can laugh it off. Either way, I'm glad I got tickets to the show. Um, so this is actually really about having gratitude for the experiences in your life. And um, when you put that gratitude out there, uh, you know, the universe wants to give you more and more of that beautiful energy. So um, just some quick fun messages here. I hope that you found those helpful and enjoyable. Um, again, just comment here on this video up to three times um, to have your name in May May's giveaway. Yeah, because <laughs> I'll be drawing. Uh, I will be drawing more names at the end of May to find those winners for the next giveaway. And congratulations, Carrie, for winning April. All right, you guys, much love to you. See you soon with a pick a card, actually.